everyone welcome back so in this video we'll be talking about lab 3 which is assigning licenses using group membership so before that let's go to active directory and let's go to the users and here we have different users that we have created uh, recently so i'll just delete them okay So let's delete user deleted let's okay so okay i believe i have also deleted this one so i have deleted the users that i have created uh before so it's done so let's go ahead and uh, create a user so we should be already known like uh, how to create a user so here we have two different uh, domains the sales domain which is a subdomain for this main so i'll be going ahead with uh, let's say sales and uh, let's add uh, and let's add the name so since it's uh, he belongs to sales department so i'll just add this password just for my reference and same id as well so we are done with the creating uh, a user which is called ram and he belongs to the sales department for now so if i go back here let's go to the office 365 let me open the incognito mode and let me go for office 365 so since the user has just now created let's see whether he's having permissions for this office 365 or not so I'll be copying this uh, UPN, go next, and uh, the password that we have copied before. So I'll add that one too. So current password is this one, and let me add the secure password. And done. So you can use MFA for this, but I'll be skipping it for uh, 14 days for now. So no, so you can see this is uh, this is the office for uh, user RAM, and we don't have a proper access to this. However, say wait 10 minutes and so on, but uh, we don't have access for this. So since we have checked this, and now let's uh, add few permissions to the user so that we can get uh, access to this. So for that, we have to create a group, a security group in the Active Directory. For that, under Manage, we can see there is a section called Groups. So click that. So here, we have an option called New Group. So let's go ahead and create. Right now, we don't have any groups associated uh, with this Active Directory. So I'll just add New Group. And here you can see we have various other options so you have group type you have group name group description if you want to add though and the surety roles that can be assigned to the group membership types and so on so let's go to the group type which is the first one and we have two different options here security as well as uh, microsoft 365 so if you talk about uh, security groups it is uh, used to manage uh, members and computer access to the shared resources for the group of users so that is the basic difference between the security and uh, let's say for instance we want to create a security policy or the licenses which we will be doing in this session uh, and uh, by doing this we can give a set of permission to all the members at once instead of adding them individually right i can so individually in the mains if i go here so whenever i create a user let's say uh, let's go to the users and let's add the user here so you have a permission here you have groups as well as roles every time i can't uh, go to the roles and give specific access to the all the users so it is uh, it takes a lot of time so here comes uh, the groups and uh, here we can use the security group and the security group can have users devices groups and service principles as its members and users and service principles can be its owners 
so that is uh, coming to the security and uh, coming to Microsoft 365 it provides collaboration uh, opportunities by giving members access to shared uh, mailbox calendar files SharePoint sites and many more so this option also lets uh, give the users outside of uh, organization access to the group and uh, the Microsoft 365 group can have only users uh, has it members whereas if you talk whereas if you talk about security it has users devices groups has and as well as service principles whereas if it, if we talk about Microsoft 365 it only has uh, users in it so that is uh, one difference that you can uh, note and uh, both the users and service principles can be owners of Microsoft 365 so this is the same for both one so if you talk about some examples like uh, from Microsoft 365 so you can see that right now we have these options if we change from Microsoft 365 the options have been changed so there's like few uh, uh, difference uh, between these two as we have discussed uh, the meanings before so if you talk about Microsoft 365 uh, there are a few sections where uh, we can use it so I got this example from uh, the Microsoft Docs so if your team prefers to collaborate uh, via email and needs a shared calendar this is where Microsoft 365 comes and the other example is if you uh, if your team wants to collaborate in a persistent chat environment or used embedded apps here comes the Microsoft Teams and if you uh, want to create a large and open discussion forum for your company here comes uh, you can create a Yammer so that is a few different a uh, few sections that you can uh, use in Microsoft 365 so this is the basic difference uh, between uh, uh, security as well as Microsoft 365 and uh, here you can see you can give the name here so let me go back let me add the security since we are dealing with lab 3 and it is associated with the licenses so since if we talk about licenses we'll, we should use this security has uh, has a definition defines and you can give the name here and you can see here the membership types which is also important so here you have two different types which is assigned as well as dynamic user so if you talk about assigned it's uh it, like we are proceeding manually that is what it means so we are uh, adding users manually and stuff so if you talk about dynamic users so there are like dynamic membership rules which automatically adds and removes the members based on the, the rules that we create so we'll be using these rules uh, uh, in the like coming session so that you can uh, get more glance about what it is so saying that let's uh let's add uh, security and here like we'll be proceeding with assignments so I think uh, we'll stop the uh, video for now so in the next video we'll be adding uh, the group name and the membership IDs and the owners that we can do so we can also assign owners here the, the person which belongs to this particular group so that the owner can add the members so you are not the main member so you can add the, the other guy so here you can see we have different users here so we can add uh, accordingly like who is the owner for this particular group so that he can proceed with the assignments so that he can add the users so who can be belonging to this particular uh, uh, group that we create and uh, he can he can go ahead and uh, proceed with the process of his organization so that's it for now so this video has been like most theoretical and in the next video we'll be talking more about uh, creating the user and adding the licenses so in the incognito mode if you check we don't have we don't have access but if we add the licenses to it we'll be getting access to that so we'll be checking all this in the next video and i'll be keeping some relevant videos in the description so that you can watch so if you like the video please click the like button below and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video thank you everyone